Full Circle, the third serial of Doctor Who's 18th season, first broadcast in four parts from the 25th of October to the 15th of November 1980. This was also the first entry into the unofficial E-Space trilogy. Now, the Doctor, played by Tom Baker, and along with his companions Romana, played by Lala Ward, and K-9, voiced by John Leeson, are heading back to Gallifrey. The coordinates of which are 10 0 11 0 0 by 0 2 from the Galactic Zero Center. A, a position of Gallifrey which would later be repeated in the 12th Doctor episode Death in Heaven by Missy. So it's nice to see they do keep some continuity over time. Now, the Doctor is taking Romana and K9 back to Gallifrey purely because Romana was only really supposed to join him for the. Key- for collecting the key to time. She just kind of stuck around for a while, but now he pretty much has to take her home, which Romana does re- recognise is because of the Time Lords. They want her back. So, but while travelling there, they end up going through some type of void and find themselves in a place that is at the coordinates they set, 10 0, 11, 0, 0 by 0, 2. But it's not Gallifrey. They instead find themselves on the planet Alzarius, where a group of humanoid creatures are kind of living off the land and everything, kind of doing science and everything, when suddenly mistfall happens, and a lot of them retreat inside a massive starliner. Now, it appears that these humanoids, the Alzarians, they... They're planning to return to Pterodon, or at least they've spent many generations on Alzarius, and now they're seemingly planning on returning to Pterodon. The reason why they're scared of Mistfall is because that's when the Marshmen come out. It's revealed that there are three major species on this planet. There are the Alzarians, the Marshmen, which are kind of like monstrous creatures that come out of the marsh, and Marsh Spiders. And amongst the group of Alzarians is uh, a young man named Adric, played by Matthew Waterhouse. This is the first appearance of Adric. And he's working with... Well, well, hang on, I'll, I'll get to that. Amongst the Alzarians, you've got... The people in charge are a group of deciders. There's Draith, played by Leonard Maguire. Nefred, played by James Bree, Gareth, played by Alan Rowe, and after Draith is killed, sorry, spoiler alert, uh, Logan, played by George Baker. Now, Logan mainly accepts the position of power because he wants to be able to help his daughter, Kiara, played by June Page. Now, Adric, as I mentioned, is a, wants to join a small group that includes Dexter, played by Tony Calvin, Vash, Adric's brother, played by Richard Willis. Kiara, played by Jim Page, as I just said. Tilos, played by Bernard Padden. Omril, played by Andrew Forbes. And Rissick, played by Adrian Gibbs. He mainly wants to join them, but they kind of... In the L- In the Alzarian society, they've kind of split off into those who are more kind of science-based, kind of looking to do stuff on the spaceship, whereas the others kind of more see, more seek a more simple life. And Adric wants to join these along with his brother, but because he has a prized star for mathematical excellence, they kind of look down on him and go, no, you'll be on the spaceship. I mean, you'll... And when they ask him what they'll do when he finally does get off Earth, he's just like, I, I will be on that ship, but I won't be anything. Like, I don't want to be on that ship. But... Anyway, the big thing that they end up discovering is that the Marshmen do seem particularly hostile, and when the Alzarians try to start to do experiments on them to try and find out what they are, that gets them pretty mad, and Romana ends up being taken over. While while uh, Adric and his group of boys end up accidentally piloting the TARDIS onto the Starliner, Romana gets left behind in a cave and is bitten by a marsh spider that infects her with some kind of virus, making her basically a tool for the marshmen to use who plan to storm the Starliner and basically kill all the Alzarians. Now, there are some moments in this that I do think kind of work well. I mean, there's one moment that I think is kind of a little funny, which is... The Doctor points out to the Deciders that, well, the ship that they've gone, why haven't they left already? It's like, 
We have to get it ready. It's like it's been ready for ages. I mean, you've spent what forty generations on this planet, and you want to get back to Terradon. I mean, you, as you said, you've worked out how to take the ship apart and put it all back together again. So why haven't you left? It's just like, yeah, we may be part of forty generations. They may have passed down a lot of knowledge to us how to take the ship apart and put it back together again, but we don't actually know how to fly it. Which I a bit did get a smirk out of me, just like. Yeah, that should probably have been in one of the manuals. The Altharians, I'll admit they're not a great monster. I mean, they it's clearly uh, people in suits and just roaring and smashing around the place, but they do the job well enough. Apparently, from what I've heard, Lola Ward wasn't a big fan of Matthew Waterhouse, and by the end of his time in the TARDIS, I, I think he had very few friends when he left the show, but I, I don't know about that. But for all in all... Starting off this particular story, it, it's a decent one. I don't know if it's the best, but yeah. I mean, I have seen... I mean, out of season 18 so far, I've I've got two more coming up, which are the other two in the East Space Trilogy, the, those being State of Decay and Warriors Gate. And I've seen the two that come after that, those being Keeper of Truck and, and Logopolis. I haven't yet seen uh, The Leisure Hive or Megloss, so I can't really say, but... I wouldn't say this is the worst, but I don't know if I'd rank it all that highly. So, full circle, I'd say it's mainly one for if you're a completionist and just want to watch all the Docs Who, you'll get through this. But, I will admit, oh, uh, probably, although I should probably mention the major plot point, once again, spoilers if you don't want it ruined, it's eventually revealed that the Marshmen, the Alzarians, and the Marsh Spiders, they all share the same DNA. So, as, uh, Draith mentions on his deathbed to Adric, uh, they eventually effectively come full circle. Like the Marshmen are something like the ancestors of the Alzarians, and the Marsh Spiders are what they're ultimately due to become, which is kind of horrifying. But all in all, as I said, I don't know if full circle is necessarily the best, but it's a decent episode to watch, decent story to watch through. And if you're a Doctor Who completionist, yeah, you'll probably get through it okay. Anyway, as I said, the next story I'll be reviewing in the Space Trilogy is State of Decay. Once I've gone through that, I'll let you know. And anyway, until then, see ya.